So 26 students arrived in America to help with the project. Um, we worked on the construction and giving the tours. Uh, Joe Manowski has kindly offered his house to us, um, so there are 30 of us staying here. It's been amazing. Uh, he cooks amazing chilli. you got to try some of Joe's world-famous chilli. It's been really awesome to get to stay with the whole team in, um, in a fantastic home like this. Staying at Joe's house has been, been a great experience, um, especially talking to some of the other teams where you know, they're all crammed into hotel rooms or spread of, you know, amongst the hotel and don't get that chance to really hang out together quite so much. So I think we've been really lucky with what we've got here. And thank you, Joe. Oh, the assembly went really well. It was the third time that we put the house together. You know, we'd practiced it once before at Frank Kitt, so we knew better what was expected. Assembly was pretty intense. Uh, we were getting up at all hours of the morning, of the night, um, and just, you know, spending 11 hour shifts down at site. So we had two teams that kind of rotated back to back. I think um, the whole organisation of the shifts um, was really well done and you know we knew what tasks we had to do and we knew who we had to um, go to if we had any questions um, that worked really well. The competitions went really well, really well. I think um, you know there were so many amazing houses there um, and obviously, you know, everyone's been putting in two years of, of hard work. To begin with, there were a lot of jury visits through the house, so a lot of the original designers were taking them through and telling them about the house, which was a little bit nerve-wracking, getting the house judged at last after two years. Um, it was busy. It was really busy. Um, we thought that Wellington was a little bit crazy, but um, this was even more so. Uh, just constantly giving tours, but it was really fun to finally get to show off the house to the American public and to get the feedback and interest from them was um, really heartening and great to see. So I um, was involved in the dinner party where we had to host um, all the teams that basically were on our street, so to speak. Um, so myself and Rob, um, hosted, hosted the dinner party and yeah it went so well. We had these beautiful menus and that central space in the house really worked so well for entertaining. Um, we cooked you know, typical Kiwi fare, we had um, corn fritters uh, and we had lamb of course of his choice for our main and um, you know meringues and cream and um, passion fruit dessert and everyone was just raving about it, it was fantastic. We had the most glorious, beautiful bluebird days um, for the first wee while um, and into construction. Um, and then it kind of clouded over, it got quite muggy and very hot. It was crap. <laughs> um, the weather during the contest, um, not really ideal for a solar contest, not to have any sun for eight out of the ten days um, and sort of the main main influence that had was um, our hot water didn't really get going it needed as we found out near the end of those ten days it just needed that one hot sunny day to, to give it a boost and then it went, went fairly well overall things went re fairly well um, hot water contest we got 100% in um, we got full points for energy balance so we were net zero which was pretty pretty good considering the horrible weather we had for those 10 days. Second place architecture goes to New Zealand, Victoria University. The attention to detail and the architecture um, and we, you know, we did really well on that and came second which is fantastic. First place for engineering goes to New Zealand. We got first place in engineering so we obviously did something right and we just sat there for a good couple of seconds staring at each other in disbelief. Um, and then it start, finally started to sink in, and yeah, just a pretty amazing moment. So 
So um, with the final day approaching, we got the um, energy balance contest results in, which moved us up to fourth place. Uh, we were sitting four points behind the third place uh, people, which was um, Sayak County from California. We were waiting for um, the Secretary of Energy to finish his speech, and we were all quite nervous because after that would come the announcement of who was third place. The envelope, please. Third place. New Zealand, Victoria University of Oregon. So we got third place in market appeal, which is um, enough to, to get us above SIARC in that um, overall ranking to get third place. The overall was up, we got third place, and I think just everyone was just so wrapped, I, um, you know, happiest team to be up on that podium. So everyone was just, everyone was just pinging, eh? We were just jumping around, just, yeah, it was, it was amazing. We went up against nine, 18 other teams from around the world, some of the best the best universities in America, um, some of the brightest minds, I think it's, it's an achievement we can all be really proud of, and I'm personally really proud of it. Yeah, just the supporters, oh, thank you so much. We couldn't have, couldn't have got where we have without you, it's just been amazing. It was great to see how that, that Kiwi backing had come through to make a really good house.